So YouTube just put out some insane new details regarding their new YouTube Shorts fund, which is going to be $100 million paid out to YouTube Shorts creators over the next few months. You guys are getting paid? And some of the most shocking details include creators being paid at least $100 per month all the way to $10,000 per month, but also the fact that you don't actually have to get your normal 1,000 subscribers on YouTube or even 4,000 hours of watch time to actually qualify for this fund. And so in today's video, I'm going to go through some of the most important details when it comes to actually being able to to qualify for this fund, as well as some example channels that have been really succeeding with YouTube Shorts, plus my top recommendations for easily creating original and quality YouTube Shorts. So starting off, let me first of all run through some of the most important details from YouTube's latest announcement about the YouTube Shorts fund. And this video here, as you can see, is actually from YouTube itself and it was released on August 3rd, 2021, so just a day before this video was recorded, so it's extremely recent. And I also link this video in the description box below so that you can refer to it. And starting with how much you can actually earn, as I said before, the minimum if you qualify for a fund and they'll actually notify you in your YouTube account and also they'll email you, um, you'll actually earn $100 as the minimum. And again, you don't have to have your 4,000 hours of watch time and you know 1,000 subscribers to be able to qualify for this. So this is actually potentially an additional income stream if you actually have a channel that is monetized, right? So uh, with a monetized channel, you can normally run ads and there's other ways to monetize as well, like affiliate marketing or selling stuff. And so this fund is actually on top of everything else that you can already do on YouTube. Why make trillions when we could make billions? And another point I want to quickly mention is that YouTube actually evaluates your channel every month to see if you qualify for this fund. And so, for example, if you don't necessarily qualify for the funds um, in a certain month, the following month you still have another chance and so on and so forth, right? And not only that, but if you especially have a lot of old videos stacking up views, um, if you get more views for that given month, for example, you actually have the chance to earn even more money in the following month. So it definitely incentivizes people to create even more videos and stack up videos and get as many views as they can in a given month to earn as much from the fund as possible. And so technically, even a new YouTube channel with zero subscribers can qualify for this shorts fund as long as they comply with some of the policies regarding the content of the shorts. Starting with, um, you actually have to comply with the community guidelines, so no inappropriate uh, or like unmonetizable or like unadvertiser friendly content, right? That should be obvious. So like no violence, no like sexual stuff. That's what she said. <laughs> And then you also want to comply with their copyright and monetization policies, which means generally that you don't want to have reused content for these original shorts, right? Especially since for these short for the shorts fund, they really want to try to uh, emphasize and encourage rather um, original content, which means you generally want to create and record your own footage. And again, I will show you some easy ways you can do so, even with showing minimal um, face, <laughs> uh, so to speak. Nice. nice. And by the way, I'll definitely try to participate in this myself to not only potentially earn some more money from my YouTube channels, but also get some additional traffic to my channels. And I'll definitely let you guys know how this goes right on this channel, so stay tuned for that. And so now, let's actually go on to some example YouTube channels that have already been succeeding with YouTube Shorts, as well as different niches and video styles, and how you can easily create effective and original YouTube Shorts videos. So first, I definitely recommend picking a niche that you're good at, because the more videos you create in the same topic or niche, the more people are going to watch your videos or even binge watch multiple of your videos, right? Which could definitely contribute to the popularity of your channel as well as the amount you can potentially earn from the fund. And if you want to do a bit of research first, there are a couple of ways you can do so. First, you can use your phone, tap into the YouTube app, and there's actually a button at the very bottom that says Shorts that allow you to just browse Shorts similar to what you would do on TikTok or say Instagram. So that's sort of the new feature um, on the YouTube app specifically on your phone. Otherwise, if you're going to use the browser on, for, for example, your computer, you can just type in hashtag shorts. Let me just do that again really quick. So you can type in hashtag shorts, but what you want to do now is to actually click on um, this actual hashtag to go inside, right? Because if you just do the hashtag or search for the hashtag itself, it's not only it's not going to give you only YouTube shorts, right? There's still like longer videos as you can see up here. So you want to click into the hashtag and then this will be all YouTube shorts that you can sort of browse to and get the idea. Um, get ideas from um, what some of the best performing YouTube shorts currently are. 
So you can definitely take some time to browse through some examples, but I've also done my own research and highlighted some of the top uh, YouTube Shorts channels with also easy content that you can definitely create as well. Starting with this example here from a channel called Imkavi. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I think this is an Indian, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a, I believe, Indian channel, but you know, that's not the point. The point is, um, starting from 2021, they were actually able to grow tremendously to over 1.7 million subscribers with 1.5 million views per month just by posting a lot more YouTube Shorts in 2021. So in just a few short months, they were able to grow from 40,000 subscribers with 50,000 views a month. And then within the past few months, after they started uploading a lot of YouTube Shorts, um, and I'll show you the actual channel in a bit, but they upload about 100 Shorts video per month, so about three or more than three per day which you know is actually not that much work considering how short YouTube Shorts actually are. Um, they've been able to grow their channel and get a ton more views and just have you know a lot more success by doing this strategy. And if we just quickly come over to their channel, we'll see that uh, most of their videos are shorts. Um, the at least most of the recent ones they have some longer videos too so that's definitely fine because you can also earn you know more ad revenue from that and your shorts will help you drive additional traffic to your channel right that's one reason that a lot of people do it but as you can see um, some of their YouTube shorts videos are really doing quite well um, the thing is sometimes with the algorithm it could take a few days or even weeks for a video to take off so it may not take off right away for example the latest video has gotten 2.3 thousand views it was posted two hours ago and not to don't get me wrong, but this um, this view count is still good. But if we scroll down and compare it to some other of their videos, this one from just three days ago has gotten 310,000 views. So, and this one here even has gotten 266,000 views. So, just by creating a lot of these videos, not all of them will go viral, but because of how many you can create. Um, you have a larger chance, or more chances rather, to go viral with a video, right? Especially since YouTube is really boosting and promoting YouTube Shorts, um, the feature right now. And if you want to do a similar type of video style, and again, it doesn't have to be in the fitness niche, it can be anything you're good at, especially um, that you can do in real life and demonstrate in real life, any sort of niche can actually work for YouTube Shorts, right? As provided that it's sort of like useful tips that you're providing to people. So for example, um, with this channel here, because it's a fitness channel, it's literally just super duper super short clips, right? As you can see, they're not even 20 seconds long. Some of them are like 12 seconds long, uh, 13 seconds long, 14 seconds long. And it's just her doing like a certain exercise or just like, I don't know, even posing, right? So it's like extremely, extremely simple, super duper short videos and she can easily pump out like several a day even, right? And even with this, um, just by like mass producing videos, that seems to be the strategy right now. And if you especially have, again, real life, uh, tangible, I guess, um, things that you can show and just have your phone, right? just film it with your phone, um, you'll be able to upload videos right onto YouTube Shorts. And you can definitely use the YouTube app itself because um, it should have the new feature right now where you can record videos right on the YouTube app. So you can just use those to create or use it to create your videos. And so you can just use it and perhaps get like a harness or stand for your camera so you can fix it onto like a, the floor or like on a surface while you're recording whatever you wanna record. Moving on for another couple of success examples as well as an easy video style and niche you can consider, we have Luke Davidson facts right here which primarily does YouTube shorts based on weird facts. And notice how he does show his face but he also has for his backdrop here, um, he has these like royalty free images or video clips that correspond to whatever topic or weird facts that he's talking about. And these clips uh, for the background are very easy to find. You can just go onto websites like Pixabay and Pexels to download them and use for your video. And as for how you, uh, you can show yourself on camera while having that backdrop at the same time, you can actually use TikTok which has a built in feature for that. You can actually select an image to use as your background and it will actually keep your front facing camera so you can also record yourself. And I'll show you another alternative method for doing these videos as well. And you don't necessarily have to show yourself, uh, show yourself either, but you do have to do a voiceover. And I still would recommend you showing your face because that's just generally um, the trend right now and it's something that YouTube will probably favor when they decide on the top creators to um, distribute the fun to, right? So you can definitely look at some of these examples for bizarre facts. 
Um, this channel is doing extremely well. Um, his videos are getting hundreds of thousands of views, not millions of views, with just you know simple, simple videos and the content you can simply find on Google. And some other channels do this as well. This seems to be a trend right now. Uh, um, like this channel here called Sebastian K22 Shorts. This is actually his second channel, so he has also these shorts, um, not necessarily just on weird facts, but also on a lot of scary facts and bizarre facts. So people like sort of you know weird stuff like this on YouTube, and it's one that um, is also very binge worth, uh, binge watching worthy, so to speak. So that people will generally, once they watch one video that is sort of bizarre or scary or you know interesting, they'll tend to want to watch a lot more videos as well. So this is why this type of niche does really well on the platform. So to get started, you can actually just take to Google, for example, and just search up like weird facts, right? Or if you want to niche down a little bit more, you can just go with whatever niche you want to go for. But weird facts, um, for this you can just find tons of different well facts right on Google. Such as if I open up this first page, you can literally just read off each different fact here and just make each one into a video, right? However, you don't want to necessarily read exactly word for word what they have because that'll sort of be plagiarism or reusing content which YouTube doesn't like, right? So you just uh, you can still just uh, rephrase whatever they have here um, as long as it's sort of general knowledge which these uh, facts usually are, you're not actually copying their content if you're just rephrasing it into your own words. So you can definitely just talk about this. So for example, if you're recording it, whether it be through TikTok or, uh, or YouTube itself, you can just record yourself talking about these facts or just summarizing a, a few of these important points. And then for the backdrop, you can just design like design it using like a like a royalty-free coral reef images um, or image or images that you grab from like pixels or Pixabay. And now if you're using TikTok to record these videos, which I actually do recommend because TikTok has a lot better as of right now um, editing tools and features compared to the YouTube shorts recording feature right on the YouTube app, but it is still in beta. The YouTube one that is so they could definitely start adding new features in the future but as of now TikTok is very helpful because not only can you upload your video onto TikTok you can also use a TikTok downloader which I've done myself you can just go into Google uh, search up TikTok download without a watermark so um, you can actually download your TikTok videos without a watermark so if you just download straight up using the app it'll actually come with a TikTok watermark which will actually disqualify you or not qualify for the YouTube shorts uh, fun, right? If you have that TikTok logo on your video. But if you use a special downloader that you find on Google, such as SnapTik here, I've used this one myself and it does work, you can actually re-upload your download first of all and re-upload your TikTok videos without any um, actual watermark, right? As I've done with you know all of my shorts so far, I've actually recorded all of them through TikTok. Now, if you don't have access to TikTok or don't necessarily want to use it for whatever reason, you can also still use YouTube's very own built-in shorts recorder on the app and it's in beta right now. You can just check your YouTube app and it should be there if you try uploading a video or clicking on the plus sign, I think, at the bottom and it'll say um, create a short and it's in beta. So um, some of the features though will be a bit limited compared to TikTok and some of the other, you know, if you use like a normal video editing software or whatever. But they could definitely um, add additional features to it in the future, right? But another alternative would be to use Canva.com or some other software that you might prefer. And there are other free ones out there like Adobe Spark, but Canva seems to work really well and it's very easy to use and I, I like it as well. So you can definitely just, first of all, select a template that has the right dimensions. So you can definitely actually just search up TikTok video dimensions and it'll give you the correct dimensions for mobile phone videos or YouTube shorts. And then you can actually, again, find royalty free images. Let's say I'm doing like a scary video, right? You can find or I can find uh, free royalty free images um, using the links on the left side here. So you can actually link directly to Pexels and Pixabay from Canva. And again, both of these websites have or provide royalty free images and video clips that you can freely use in your videos. But again, your content cannot just be solely based on reuse stuff, right? Because otherwise you won't qualify or that way you won't qualify for the YouTube Shorts one. So you do have to add your own unique value to it, such as doing a voiceover, right? So in addition to adding these like images and text, you want to again, go on to Google or wherever you're, you know, you have these sources for this type of content. Um, just find, for example, scary facts. You can go on to Google, find scary facts, 
write down some of the facts on each slide, right? Or if maybe you're just doing one fact, right? Or maybe five facts or whatever. Um, if you're doing one fact, just write one sentence on each slide and also do a voiceover. So doing a voiceover will generally qualify you or qualify your videos as unique content. Although I would still, again, recommend you showing your face, which will be, you know, which will mean recording through your phone. But if you really wanted to do it this way, um, it should work as well. So again, just have the text. So go to the left side here, add text. Uh, you can find ones with different fonts as well, it's very convenient. Um, just add them in. This is probably not the best font, but you get the gist. So you can just edit this, change the colors, change the style as well. Uh, write down whatever sentence you want from your facts. And then when you're doing your voiceover, the convenient thing about using Canva is that you can actually read off of whatever is on your slide as the slide plays, right? So that your voiceover actually syncs up correctly with the video and you know each slide of your video. And to add a voiceover, you can simply go onto the top right here to where there's three dots as you can see click on let's see present and record and then click on go to recording studio and um if you enable your our mic and camera you can actually also show your face on canva by the way but it'll actually show up as like a small circle on the corner so you can definitely do that as well so it is yet another way to show your face but you have to have a camera right a webcam or like a built-in camera on your laptop uh, you can actually do that and if anything you can link your camera to this i currently don't have it linked because if i link it it messes up my camera and like uh, recording mic settings so I don't want that because I need to have the right settings for my YouTube videos right but if you just connect it you can easily just voice over um, your videos on Canva and on the far right you can even add notes uh, to sort of read off of which will be a lot more convenient as well and finally for the last example I just wanted to quickly point out my own channels being my investing channel and my digital entrepreneurship channel on which I've already uploaded some shorts and I'll definitely be uploading a lot more now that they've actually introduced this new YouTube fun or YouTube shorts fun as well as the fact that they're pushing this feature so I'll definitely be trying to ride the wave so to speak and I'll definitely update you guys on my progress as well so as for uh, my own tips in terms of creating videos especially in terms of tip giving and educational videos what you can actually do if you don't really like showing your face is you can actually just um, what I do is show my face for like five seconds for the title so I'll either read out the title or I'll just not speak and just have the title show up like in your caption or both so I'll just show my face on camera for like five seconds I'll immediately switch to what I wanted to show people uh, usually a website right so for example um, in your niche if you have like information like good tips you can give for your niche uh, for example in my investing for my investing channel I like to go to sites like Investopedia where there's a lot of investing tips and they actually sum it up in bullet points so what I can literally do is have my five second introduction and then switch to filming I'm literally filming this website with um, each bullet point or going over each point and I can also switch between different websites as well so that actually constitutes um, decent content actually uh, in terms of YouTube shorts or TikTok, as provided that you're actually showing useful information and you know actually useful and relevant websites and that is pretty much all i want to show you guys in today's video remember you can check out my top recommended youtube passive income method for turning your passions into a profitable youtube channel using the first thing in the description box below and with that thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in the next video peace